my name is Amanda Sturgill, and I am a faculty member at Elon University, but this week I found myself back in the student seat at my alma mater, the University of South Carolina. I came here to take a class in uh, Converging Media at the Newsplex, and I had a chance to go and look around and see some of the places and spaces around Columbia and around campus that I used to know. I had a lot of different roles at USC while I was a student there. One of the first ones that I had was as a student in USC's Honors College called Carolina College. And I was fortunate enough to be able to live on the university's historic horseshoe even as a freshman. I stopped by there to take a few pictures and remember the old days. And um, up here you can actually see the window of the room that I lived in, minus the one with the Wendy's cup in it. It seemed pretty nice at the time, but when I went by this time, they were renovating it. The back door was completely off, and there was a big asbestos abatement truck right out there. So maybe it wasn't quite as nice as I thought. Anyway, the horseshoe was my home for all four years, although I lived first here in Elliott, and then I moved to the other side, to Rutledge. Every day I would go out, and quite frequently I would trip on these historic cobblestones that uh, marked the central part of campus. I usually ended up being on two opposite corners of the campus, and uh, one of the first was because I was really involved in music when I was there. I was a member of the Carolina Band, the marching band, for all four years, and had a lot of fun going to all the football games and actually learned all the rules of football, thanks to Nate Larimore, and um, went on a bunch of trips doing that. I was also in the concert choir and had a chance to travel to Israel with them, and that was really where I got close to my husband, David, who's also a USC alum. He spent most of his time here in LeConte College, which was the home of the Departments of Math and Computer Science, and also the Department of Graphic Arts, which my brother-in-law graduated from. He lived in a couple of different places, but one of the places that he lived was over here in uh, Preston College, right before um, he graduated, a year before I did, and went to work for NCR. He was in band and choir, too, so we went on a lot of the same trips together, but when we were on campus, this was one of our favorite spots. This is a fountain right back behind the Carolinian Library, which was my neighbor when I lived in Elliott. And we used to call it the Sound of Music Fountain and spend some quiet time out there together once in a while. I actually majored in journalism while I was in school. And I worked for the Gamecock for a year and I did an internship out in Lexington at the Dispatch News. I was a news editorial major and worked in the senior semester on the Carolina Reporter. And I covered uh, education for them, covering the school districts and those kind of things. One of the things that really surprised me coming back was how much the Coliseum has not changed. In fact, um, some of the classes that I had at Newsplex met in the Coliseum in one of the rooms that I used to have classes in, and my roommate's name, Gail Buchanan, is still on a plaque in that room, which I had to write and tell her about. But one thing that has changed quite a bit is Columbia. Things that surprised me included a giant statue of Strom Thurmond on the State House grounds. He was still very much alive and in office when I was uh, working for the Dispatch News. We did a big story about him and some real estate dealings. And um, also, there's a whole area of downtown, down on Gervais Street now, that's really become kind of gentrified and upscale. And they have a cupcake bakery and a canoe outfitters. And they've taken an old flour mill and kind of given it a little bit of an upscale look. So it's been a very um, big surprise to see how much Columbia has changed as well. After being a professor for 14 years, it's kind of weird to be back here and be in the student role again, or the place where I was originally a student. But I'm glad I came, and I'm glad I got a chance to see how things are changing and staying the same. I hope the School of Journalism does actually get their new building at some point. They were talking about that when I was here 20 years ago, too. And I look forward to the chance, when my kids get a little bit older, to bring them back and show them all the things that we loved about Carolina and Columbia and being at the USC.